you guys, it's Amy, and it is summer, and I am just so, like, refreshed. It is such a great season, and one of the things that I was so excited to do this summer was see Finding Dory, and I finally got to do that. <laughs> So in this video, I'm just going to be reviewing my favorite concepts and even my dislikes about this movie and just my general opinion about this movie and just recommending it to you. So I hope you guys like this video and without further ado, let's get to it. So what are the main messages of this movie? Well, um, one of um, the messages that this franchise, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, is Def def definitely known for is um, just keep swimming and that basically means like whatever you set your mind to you can do like don't let anything block you from your fullest potential because honestly like your potential is limitless you are capable of doing anything that you set your mind to so that is an important lesson and that was definitely expressed in Finding Nemo um, when the characters lost hope and um, because they were get they were lost in a place that they were unfamiliar with and by, and the character Dory said um, just keep swimming you guys we got this and that was definitely an important lesson and it is reintroduced in Finding Dory so I thought that was great um, so yeah that is definitely one of the main messages of this movie so another great message in Finding Dory is Friends are family too. Um, at one point in Finding Dory, um, Dory realizes how much she misses Nemo and, um, oh God, I always forget his father's name, but his father, uh, God, why do I always forget his name? <laughs> I always forget the, th the dad's name, but you know who I'm talking about if you've seen the first movie. But at one point in Finding Dory, she realizes that she misses them just like she would, she missed her family. Friends are just another person to depend on and another person to love and to cherish. And I think it's important to keep friends close to you as much as you do with family. So that is definitely an important message that this movie portrays. Lastly, um, another message that this movie definitely emphasizes is um, destiny and instinct. Like, follow your destiny would be, like, one of the messages. And um, follow your instinct, too. Like, those are very, they're very hard concepts to describe because it's something that happens within your, yourself. And, like, destiny and instinct are di one thing for me but different for another person. So I think, I think um, Disney was very clever in trying to, um, include this in the movie because that's something very hard to describe especially to kids too because they target a younger audience but um basically what dory is depending on since she has memory loss is destiny and instinct to find her family because that's the main movie point of the movie is dory's trying to find her family and what she's depending on is the instinct and what she feels in her heart is right and she just believes it and she knows it's true. So that's basically what's driving her to try to find her family. Definitely embraced throughout the movie is um, following your own destiny and using instinct to get you there. So yeah. So usually when um, me and my friends are talking about a movie, we like to share uh, our favorite parts of the movie. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. So my favorite part of this movie would have to be the shells. Now, if you haven't seen this movie, you probably won't understand this, but for those of you who have, so basically what I mean by this is in the movie, um, Dory's younger self um, and her parents that she's sort of remembering, but like not really, it's like sort of like distant, um, they um, use shells for Dory to find and um, they, lay them out on the ground so she can retrace her steps. Because Dory has memory loss, things like um, going back home is hard for her. So what her parents did when she was younger is they laid out shells, like almost like a pathway um, for her to follow to get back home. 
So I thought that was a super sweet and cute concept and it definitely becomes important later in the movie. I, But I just love that part that her parents use shells to help her remember where to go in travel and stuff like that. And it was kind of a way that her parents helped her cope with memory loss. So I think that was a super cute mo moment. And I definitely liked the shells in Finding Dory. So is there any parts that I liked slash disliked? And there are parts for both of those categories, I guess you could say. Um, for liked, I definitely liked the um, flashbacks. And um, you kind of see a younger Dory, which is super cute. Um, you see Dory as her younger self, and um, Dory is like flashing back to the to her past and her memories. So I definitely love that part. And in a way, it kind of makes the movie a prologue. Like it, like you see Dory before she was like before she was Dory in like the f first movie. So you kind of get a glimpse of what she was when she was younger. And I definitely love that aspect of the movie. Something that I disliked, it's not really, it's not bad, I just like, I got confused at this part, but um, at one point part of the movie, for those of you who saw it, um, Zori has an interaction with an octopus, and the octopus is actually a great character, and I love the octopus, but the only thing I didn't get, the octopus was trying to take her tag, and this, this is not going to make sense for those who didn't see it, but um, the octopus tries to take our tag, and I thought the octopus was an evil character. Like, I thought he was tricking her in getting the tag, so I got confused at that part, but he ends up being, like, a good character. Um, I, for some reason, I don't know why, maybe just the way the character was portrayed, but I thought it was, like, an evil character, and I thought he was trying to trick Dory some. How? But he's actually not trying to trick her. He's just um, trying to ask for her tag and trying to get it. So, um, yeah, that part kind of confused me a little bit. Um, but other than that, I, d I don't think I have any really, like, dislikes about the movie. It was a great movie. It really was. So, now I'm going to be getting into characters. So, um, I've, I was looking through a lot of questions people had about Finding Dory, like, under the reviews. And one of the questions that I saw, like, like a lot um, the most common question that I saw was are there any new characters and yes there are a bunch of new characters but um, they kept the main characters like Nemo his dad Dory you know that stuff but um so yeah the characters especially in the flashbacks you see mini Dory and her um, parents and then you see also um, the octopus, which I, which, who I just mentioned, it's um, someone that Dory meets, and like I said, kind of mentioned before, he's trying to take her tag, and if you, if you basically, um, when you hear tag, um, Dory gets like attached to a tag. I will not explain how she gets a tag, but she gets a tag, and the octopus wants it, and um, so, um, the octopus is definitely a great character, um, despite that part I got confused at. He is a great character, and Dory, um, he's a little stubborn, but Dory learns to look past that, and kind of, um, and in, in the end, they kind of have a good relationship, so I kind of like that, like, bonding experience. Another character, there's a, a bird, a wacky bird, that was kind of funny, um, that was trying to help Nemo and his dad. Then there were also, there are also seals. There was a funny part between them where they were um, trying to like keep their rock that they were sitting on and they wouldn't let any other seals go on. So I thought that was a kind of funny part. Um, let me think of other characters. I think those are the main, oh wait, no. There's um, Destiny the Whale. Um, who Dory, who ends up being Dory's best friend, um, who, or used to be Dory's fr best friend, and she meets, and pay attention, her name is Destiny. And there's also Bailey, who is like, oh, I forget what it's called, but he's an a interesting character. I, a lot of the little kids I heard was, were like laughing in the movie theater when it was Bailey, because he's like really confused um, a lot of the time, because he has like this disorder or whatever, but, um, yeah, so those are basically all the new characters. They're really friendly characters. None of them are evil, not the octopus. He's actually pretty cool. Um, 
but yeah, I um I definitely like the new characters, and I like that they didn't really focus on the new characters too too much, cause I still like the original aspect of you know Dory and Nemo and the dad, cause like I don't know, those are like I kind of become attached to those characters. Speaking of characters, my favorite characters would have to be Mini Dory because Mini Dory was so adorable she was so cute um i don't know who voiced her like i know ellen degeneres was dory's voice but i feel like a little kid did mini dory because the voice was like so cute um mini dory would be my favorite character also nemo because um nemo definitely like encouraged his dad to kind of think thoughtful towards dory like it's kind of hard, like at one point, um, Nemo's dad kind of gets a little frustrated with Dory because she always forgets things and like it's hard to like handle her because she's always forgetting things and doesn't really cooperate that well. Um, but Nemo reminds him how Dory is much more than just forgetting things and forgetting things and forgetting things. She's more than that and she is someone who solves their problems because especially in the first movie you would know, like when um, Nemo's dad ran into a problem, Dory would definitely be there to help him solve it. So um, at one point in the movie, they, those two characters, Nemo and his dad, kind of say, what would Dory do? And I thought that was a cute moment. So I definitely like Nemo and Minnie Dory as like my two favorite characters in this movie. So was this movie funny? It was very funny. I found myself laughing at it and um a lot of the kids were laughing even the adults were laughing because disney was very sly and snuck some adult jokes in there especially at the beginning i'm not going to spoil it for you guys but um dory says a pretty funny joke at the beginning um when talking to the kids and it was um it was really cute and really funny um even my mom next to me was laughing at so that so now i'm getting to this question which is Definitely a question that I was asking myself before I saw the movie, and it, it is, is it better than the original? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I I always, like, I think the original is always better because it's the original. I mean, it's how it starts off. But then again, this movie served kind of as an original because it, like, flashed back to even before like, like I said before, like a prologue, it flashed back to when Dory was younger. So kind of even before the previous movie. Um, but yeah, I think I like them both the same. It actually wasn't, like a lot of people say, like the original is always better. But this wasn't actually, it wasn't like, because I thought it wasn't going to be as good as Finding Nemo. But it actually was really good and I liked it a lot. So I think they're kind of equal. I think they're kind of equal. But I think... I'll always love the original kind of more just because it's an original. I don't know why, but I I like the original because that's kind of how it started, you know? With Nemo and his dad, whose name I can't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, I um, in terms of that, that's why I like it's it. It's definitely a great movie. I would definitely recommend it to you guys. It is funny. It is a little sad, but mo it won't make you sob or like dramatically cry tears all over your face um it's um outgoing the characters are so funny um and like I, like i said before i had very few dislikes and may i think it maybe it was just like a me thing where i was just thinking too much about the characters where i got like um confused about the octopus but that was like hardly a dislike um but yeah this movie is great and I just think that if you haven't seen it yet, you definitely, you definitely should. You guys should just keep swimming, swimming up to Cassidy's video in this eye right here. This video was what she posted this week, and I'm sure it is as great as always. I haven't seen it yet, but um, I will talk about it in the bio below. So yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of the summer, and... I was trying, I was thinking of a quote, but I already used Just Keep Swimming. Yeah. Just be like Dory. Just be like Dory.